If you've long been a fan of Touch ID, we've got some bad news for you. According to noted Apple insider Ming Kai Kuo, every new iPhone Apple releases next year will incorporate Face ID. And in the process, relegate Touch ID to nothing more than a memory. Word of Apple doubling down on Face ID is interesting for a few reasons. For one, Apple is still struggling to manufacture one of the key components of the iPhone X's true depth camera system, the cornerstone of Face ID. The iPhone X is the first Apple smartphone to feature a design with no home button, and it replaces Touch ID with the company's new Face ID technology. Kuo's prediction is that we've seen the last of Touch ID with the iPhone 8, and next year we'll see Apple go all in on Face ID. BMW has announced the latest ride that fits into its BMW bike collection. The bicycle is called the BMW Active Hybrid e-bike and it uses an advanced Bros electric motor. That supplements the pedal power of the rider for less effort on long commutes. That electric motor has an output of 250 watts and 90 newton meters of torque. BMW's new active hybrid e-bike's battery offers a range of 100 kilometers. The new BMW active hybrid e-bike sees BMW lifestyle writing the next chapter in the success story of the BMW bikes collection and demonstrates once again how innovative technology and sophisticated design can come together into an aesthetically pleasing overall concept. Accident-prone desk workers can soon breathe a small sigh of relief, because Silicon Power has announced its first portable SSD, a new puck-shaped hard drive that's IP68 dust and water resistant. The Bolt P80 drive comes in three storage variants, 120GB, 240GB, and 480GB, which is made of machined aluminium, and is about the size of a makeup compact. Unfortunately, Silicon Power not talking price just yet. That's a shame. I think the B80 would look great on my mess of a desk. A small shimmering beacon in a forest of boxes and papers which overwhelmingly disprove that I'm responsible with my things, physical or digital. But at the very least, I'd like to know how much that sniff of self-improvement would set me back.